Hi there everyone, my name is Aaron Reeve and I'm an environmental artist from Command of GUI. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do multi-materials uh, in 3ds Max to bring that into UDK. Um, I've seen people with a lot of problems with this where um, they're only finding one material slot on their mesh. Uh, there's a few reasons why. So I'm going to go ahead and create a sphere. It doesn't matter what you have, this will work for anything really. Convert this to a editable mesh or a poly, it's up to you. Uh, in fact, I'm going to use poly. Okay, so basically at the moment, if I apply a standard material to this, I'm just going to go ahead and just make a material. Like so, you can see it all goes the one colour. So, what I'm going to do is try and make two different materials on one model that will be able to show up in UDK. Now this will also work across separate models and you'll see how. Now, I'm gonna undo I'm gonna change the colours from red because that's gonna be the same colour of my selections. I don't think about that. Purple doesn't make a difference. Okay, so I'm going to make a quick selection here. So just make a random selection, doesn't really matter. In fact I'm gonna do the middle of it. So do that. Okay. And what you want to do when I come down here until you find polygon material IDs. Now, normally it will look like that. If you want to make it bigger, you can just make it easier, I think. So we've got material IDs. So we're going to set the ID of this, and this is right on two. And we're going to hit Control I to set everything else. And we're going to set the ID of this one to one. Now, the next thing we need to do is to create a multi sub object material. Which is easily done. And if you're using the slate editor, you should do for now because it'll be easier for me to show you. So for the first material, you want to link it to number one. And then we want to make a second material. Make this one green. And we're going to use number two. So now we're going to apply this material. And as you can see, where the ID matches, it will put that material on it. So that now technically has two materials, but on one model. Uh, I'm going to bring this through to UDK now, so I shouldn't give this a name. Call it um, material. Let's convert it to a mesh. And I'm going to go ahead and export this. I'm going to call it material ID. And as normal, just make sure you've got smoothing groups, tangents, and triangulate on. Nothing else needs to be on. Okay, now you want to open up UDK. Okay, so now I'm into UDK, and I'm going to go ahead and import that model. I'm not going to be covering much about this uh, in this tutorial. Okay, so when we open this model now, you see that under the LED info, we've now got another set for material. If we hadn't have set both those IDs, um, you'd only have one there. Now, the reason it's 0 and 1 and not 1 and 2 is because UDK starts at 0, whereas 3ds Max starts at 1. So 0 in UDK is 1 in Max. So it's pretty simple. And just to test it, I'm going to mass lag it a little bit here. No idea what. one. I'm just going to find two different textures. And we're going to apply them. Material, sorry. This one, and just get another one. Uh, and as you can see, where the IDs are different, it's applied different materials. So, also, when you have um, more than one mesh in your export, well, it does actually merge them together. So you need to make sure that basically the ID matches um, on the mesh. So if I had two spheres with one export, uh, basically what I do is I'd set the first sphere, I'll select everything on Polygon or Elemental or whatever, and set them all to ID1, and set the other sphere all the way to ID2. It um, doesn't recognize the two materials actually put on it normally, so you need to actually add the IDs in so it knows how many there are. 
So it's really quite an easy thing to do. Um, people, it's not. I think it's documented somewhere, but it's kind of hard to find. So hopefully that's helped a little bit. And um, subscribe and comment if you have any questions. Let me know. Thanks for watching.